So the final chapter on a partially built hotel will begin after a demolition permit was issued for the developers. News Channel 11's Clarice Shaley talked with city leaders and neighboring business owners about the three year wait for the future of the partially collapsed hotel. When hearing about this demolition permit being issued to the developers of the Holiday Inn, plenty of people have told me it's been long overdue. It's time it's gone. Joey Musser's first remark to the news of the demolition permit is good riddance. He's watched the property through a clearing in the trees for three years now. Uh, it's just been an eyesore for the citizens here in Bristol, and I really think it's an unsafe place. Musser believes the only pieces holding the building up are the red structures. An agreement between the city and the developer details that a hotel can either be rebuilt or remove all of the remaining structural materials. I asked if Musser would stay in a hotel there. I definitely would not. I don't think anybody in Bristol would. You might probably get some people from out of state that didn't know that it had collapsed at one point in time, but uh, nobody in Bristol I don't think would want to chance it, no. A city official says they were excited for the Holiday Inn when it began three years ago and would welcome a hotel rebuilt there. Um, at this point though, the, the primary focus is just getting the site um, cleaned up and, and improved the, the, certainly the visual condition of the site um, and making sure that it's, uh, that it's a safe, uh, safe site for the surrounding property owners, that sort of thing. Musser hopes to see something else go on the property. Well, it's going to make a heck of a parking lot. Uh, downtown parking needs a parking lot or you could probably build a one uh, story place on it that didn't uh, have to have all the weight that it's got on it so it wouldn't collapse again. People have told me they've already started to see some movement on the property, but once demolition begins, developers have six months to complete it. In Bristol, Tennessee, Clarice Shaley, News Channel 11.